Hi guys, I'm back. And um, this is the start of um, a four day video marathon because I am free for four days and I'm gonna make a couple of videos per day because I have some really fun stuff uh, lined up to do. Uh, of course, I'm going to be finishing off the heart box, the, the wooden box that I told you guys about. And um, I'll be doing some more um, interesting stuff with the uh, flow troll to uh, make um, some really, really beautiful big cells. I will be doing a, a big painting, a, a 120 by 40 centimeters. Um, in a very different pour that you're uh, used for me. It's going to be something with um, negative space and something to resemble wood. So it's going to be really, really beautiful. I had that in my mind a couple of days and I'm just, you know, thinking about how I'm going to do that. I think it will involve um, a cup of uh, a dirty pour with um, no silicone and a dirty pour with silicone. And I'm going to put them over each other so that's going to be really beautiful <coughs> but right now first off I want to thank uh, all my uh, people who donate to my channel because that's very important to me so thank you all these are the people this is the last bit from the last two days so I want to thank you all very much appreciate it and at the end of this month, I will be um, doing the giveaway. I'm not sure yet. I was thinking of doing this one. Let's see if I can reach it. This is a really beautiful uh, canvas. And I was thinking about doing this one. I know it's big. It's a 40 by 40. But so many people have donated. And um, it's, it's the same uh, shipping cost as a 30 by 30. So I was thinking of doing this. So if you like it, leave me a comment or do a thumbs up. If you would like me to do this one as a giveaway, I made a, a video doing this one where I poured away the green. There was too much green in there and a lot of people agreed with me. So that's, um, that's something I maybe would like to give away but you guys have to tell me so uh, please uh, put it in the comments if you like this and I might even put a really little bit of dots on there before I varnish so maybe like along this line and then along this line and maybe somewhere here very slight dots that would be good which brings me to the other video I'm going to be doing about the dot painting Put this back you see dot paintings are really pretty but you have to have exactly the same size dots all the time so I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna do that that's for another video and in this one I'm going to be doing uh, a pour on a 20 by 20 let me get this away before it starts flickering so I'm gonna be doing a pour on this one and I think I might skip the bit where I uh, torch it to get all the cells and maybe do a second pour with cells. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't think I have much light. And another um, interesting bit is that I just, this morning I ordered a webcam. So I was gonna hook up the Nikon to uh, my laptop, but there's no way, Jose, that that's gonna work. I bought, I don't know, for $40, $50 cables yesterday, but I've been checking up. I think it's um, the HDMI port on my laptop is an out only, so it doesn't go in, only out, so that won't work. So I uh, pulled the trigger, or bit the bullet, or I don't know what you guys say, but I uh, ordered a, a webcam, and uh, I'm going to see how that works out tomorrow. I hope it's, uh, you know, really HD quality and uh, the flickering is gone because I can put that on 50 megahertz like someone suggested. So we're going to see. Right now we're going to do this little pour. 
And before I do, I still have to put the push pins in. So let's see if I can push push the pin, like without a, nah, that won't work. I really do have to hammer it in. But I think I'm pretty handy, won't make too much noise. And if it does, just put the volume down just a little bit. Here we go, the last one. There we are. Okay, what I want to do with this, I have my um, little piece of plastic, and it's just a screen saver. So uh, this one is for a tablet, and uh, it still has the backing on. I should take it off, but then this part gets a little sticky. So I'm not sure if that's going to work, so I'll have to use this side. What I want to do is put some nice colors on, let it all spread out. Then in, in two or three parts, I want to put white on top and then swipe it a little bit. Not the whole canvas, just a little bit. So I was thinking of doing, of course, my lovely turquoise. Can't get enough of that. But this time I'm going to add some really beautiful terracotta. And I was thinking of doing the dark brown. Like that. And of course a little bit of white because it goes together. And give it a spin. And I'd like to put my little swirly stick in there. Because I do want it to do something, you know, I don't want those white spots in there. That's something I'm, I don't like to see. So let's see what it does. And I have plenty of paint to fill the whole canvas. But just holding it up like this. And that's already looking kind of pretty. See the cells already forming? So I'll give it a little bit over here, like that, let it run down a bit, and put another, another in. Because usually I almost never do uh, dark ones, I always uh, end up with having pretty uh, light, light pores, and I'd like to have a dark one. So I think now is a good time to fill the cup again. See, there's still, still some in here, but I'd like some more turquoise. And a little bit of that terracotta. And some dark. And some white. So really only four colors are used in this one. And give it a little swirl again because we don't want all that white bunching up together. And now I'm going to turn it and start pouring from here. That's it. And let it run down. Give it a little more here because it's missing a little bit of this... Um, terracotta color and let it run down. I just want the darkest off there just a little bit just like that and I kind of find it pretty but these are the bits I'm talking about that I don't like too much and I'll have to torch it because there's uh, some air bubbles in there Uh, let's just torch it because I'm seeing some beautiful cells. I like this color combination. Wow. I hope Anthony is watching because Anthony, these are the colors that do the turtles thing. 
Now I'm just letting it go a little bit over the side here just to um, make some of these cells a little bit bigger. And what I'm seeing is this bit where the uh, terracotta is uh, the only color touching the uh, turquoise green. There I see that some of those cells are breaking up and I don't really like that. So we're going to let that run off. See how easy that is? And that's why it's a good idea to have some more uh, paint. Always have some more paint so you can um, make your pour just a little bit more interesting or pour away a part you don't like. There we go. That is pretty. And these cells are getting really big over here. But now I want to get rid of this bit. So I'm going to let that roll off. That's about it. Maybe get rid of this one too. Let it roll off the side. See, even with one of these popsicle sticks, you can fix up the uh, sides of the canvas. But if you can get a hold of a pellet knives for the price I do, I would prefer to get pellet knives. Because they are, um, like I said, I, I buy five for three euros, these. So that's a, a pretty good deal. And just works a little easier because of the raised handle. So you can really pick it up. And I do want to pick up some of that pattern because that's pretty on the side. And there is some cell action on the side, but I'll show you in a bit. Then some of this color because there's a lot of that color over here. That's it. That's covered. And that's covered, so it's all covered. Now, I pretty much really like this, but I poured a second time over here and over here and over here. So we will have to give it a little burn to make it, you know, uh, incorporate it into the painting. And that's what we have done. And now, I might just totally ruin this canvas, but I don't really care. But I'm going to do something. Let's see if this is the good one. Yeah, I hope. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Floetrol. And this is the Floetrol I use. If you want to go look for it, you put in your uh, Google or, or in your web browser, you put in Ovatrol. It's the O-W-A-T-R-O-L, and it brings you to their uh, dealers all over the world, and you look for Flutrol, Flutrol. So always shake, very important. You give it a little shake. And I'm adding, I'd say one tablespoon to about one-fourth of a cup of paint. So I'm giving it a quick swirl, then adding a little bit of water, because I want it pretty thin. Let's see. Yeah, it's not thin enough. Then I'm going to put this on the piece that I don't like, and that's pretty hard to pick out because I pretty much love this pour. But just let's say we're going to put it over here. So, I pick up my plastic, and this is the good side up, so when I turn it around, here is where I want the paint to be. And I'm doing it not above the uh, canvas because it might drop off. Okay, so now it's on there. That's what I wanted to do. Clean off my pellet knife. It went nicely over the side. And now I want to see if it will go down there. Yep, it did. That's nice. Clean off the bottom like that. 
and a little help here. Whoop, now I went too deep. Got it straight on the canvas. That's pretty stupid. So let me fix it. That's it. See how the cells just now pop up all by themselves? That's what the flow troll does. <coughs> Give it a little bit of help to pull up some of that color from the uh, from the bottom and make it a little sharper like that. I kind of like that. And now I'm going to do another one. Spreading the paint on that piece of plastic you saw me use. And placing it on here. Just like that. On the side. And look at all those cells, you know, it just does that by itself. So if you are really having trouble with um, getting those cells, I would uh, try with a little bit of Floetrol in the colors and of course the, um, the silicone. Yeah, I've got to have the silicone in there. And then just a little bit of torching, not too much. Now turn it around because I like to have it like this and I think I am done because I like it how it turned out there is a little bit of um, cells going over the side like I like I'll show that in a bit but I'm pretty um, pretty satisfied and I like that white bit because it gives something different these two I don't mind but the ones that I uh, poured away, I didn't like those. So I'm going to get you guys down and show you what it looks like up close. So first off, here's the side. Let me get you in focus here. There we go. Look at those creamy, creamy colors go over the side. And then from this side, let's see. There you go. All those cells going over the side, they look pretty. Then here's the bit where I used the flow trowel on the piece of plastic. And up here. Look at those cells, they are beautiful. I really like those, wow. There we go. So, I got a lot of paint uh, made and I'm going to um, use a lot of colors today. And this is the one, the big one, what I was talking about, 120 centimeters by 40. I have to paint a brown dark around, so I'm going to be doing that offline. And then, of course, we have the one we did this week, the three together. See how it's still uh, connected? very much connected this would look uh, really lovely if you have this on a wall and uh, I think about two two inches apart this this would look pretty okay guys I'm gonna wrap it up I'm gonna put this on YouTube because um, I want you guys to have something to watch while you're drinking your coffee uh, and I want to thank you all and see you in the next video, which will be sooner than you can imagine. Bye-bye. <laughs> it does this the whole time. <laughs>